Hey folks, Nas here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in the Oxbow. I'm currently making some buckets right now because I need to get some water buckets in the food storage. My water bucket broke. We've only got one in there. We are going to be bringing in some more villagers, so it'd just be nice to go ahead and have um, some more buckets of water in there. So let's go ahead and fill these buckets up. There we go. Now, let's go drop some of these in the food storage. Uh, let's see. I am going to drop these. And it looks like I've got one drink left in my bucket. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off just so I can fill it up and have a full bucket on me. Because you can't fill a bucket if it's already partially empty. There we go. Now, what do I have on me? I got planks on me. I got feathers on me. Let's go ahead and empty some of this stuff here. And I think what I want to do today is go down and mess with the mine a little bit. Not the mine, the cave. We don't have the mine yet. But we have the cave. Um, just drop some sticks and the stone. And I'm going to put those four acts in there. Okay, do I have any stone pickaxes? Are there any in here? There are not. Uh, actually, let me grab that stone back out then. And I think I'm going to need sticks for those. Can we make those? Oh, it's logs for those. Okay. So let me put the sticks back. And let me grab some logs, because we're going to need some of those pickaxes. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Seven. And go to Q, craft. How many can we craft? Well, it's going to take four stone apiece. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll craft the one, because we're going to get stone in the mine. So I'll just go ahead and take the logs with me. And where are the tools? Down here, stone. We're going to drop that in five. You are better. Alrighty, so I did... Now, remember, our smithy is going to go here. I did move the kitchen. So the kitchen was here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sewing hut here when it's available. And I moved the kitchen. I had enough room to move the kitchen here. Now, if you remember, we had the well sitting here. So I put it over here. We did have the wash tub over next to my house. So I just moved it. There was a small little spot that was able to fit right there. So I figured that worked out just perfect. So we got the kitchen there, the well there, the resource storage and everything. So I think we're going to be pretty good. Sewing hut and smithy. Yeah, that'll work. Fields, farm shed, houses. You can see I've got my hammer in my hand. You can see I've added two more. Uh, two more houses that I need to get built. Uh, so we have two houses available. So I think before the end of the season, we'll go back down and see if we can recruit a couple of more villagers. <coughs> Excuse me. But right now I want to go up here and go through the cave. Now we do have a bear spawn that is like right there, which is not bad, but we're going to have to deal with the bear every season because they're going to respawn right there, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've built close enough to cancel that spawn. Now, I could put something down there which would cancel the spawn and then I would never have to worry about them again. However, they are a nice source of meat. Now, granted, we get fur from them and a little bit of leather. And then down over there, we have the Wysant. As long as I haven't built too close to them, they'll constantly spawn. So we'll have a, a decent, uh, decent supply for meat and leather and fur just with those two spawns, as long as I don't cancel. But we've got our cave here. Uh, where did I put that? Five. Perfect. So in the cave, 
give you guys a couple of tips. So in the cave, what you can do is take, if you get lost in the cave and you're trying to figure out where the entrance and stuff is, what I like to do is, or what you can do, I don't necessarily do it, but you can come in. If you've got stone or a log or something, you can actually go and drop it at the entrance. So we can actually hit X or just drop one and it drops right there at the entrance. Make sure that it doesn't roll away and then you can actually use your uh, inspector mode and you can see that. So then, I know it's dark and I'm gonna show you something else. So when you get in here, so this is a dead end. And then if you go down here, is there a split? Okay, so this looks like it might split. It probably just circles around. But when you get down here, at the bottom of your split, you do it again. So you hit your tab, open it, drop a stone, a log, or whatever you got. You can actually do that. Bam. Like that. Then, when you're in the back of the cave and you're coming out, you can see the stone. And you know, oh, I gotta go this way. And then it's like, okay, I gotta turn here. And then as you're coming out, you can see the other stone. Of course, I'm out of stamina I'm doing so. But that allows you to kind of give yourself some direction to find the entrance again. Because I've seen a lot of comments, people getting lost in the caves. And some of these caves, they're kind of big. They sprawl out a little bit. And especially once you get to the mine building, it's going to open that cave up even deeper so you can get to iron. So you want to have a way to leave yourself some breadcrumbs to get out. Now, it used to be that you used to be able to be able, well, I'm stumbling on my words, but you used to be able to build campfires in here as well. Uh, but you can't, I haven't found that you can do that anymore. You can build it right in the entrance or something, but once you get in the cave, I haven't seen that you can do that still. So dropping your item is a good way to do that. And it should stay each season. So you could just leave it there forever if you wanted to. Now, once you get in the cave, you can see it gets really dark. Now, granted, you can walk around and you can pull your torch out, but that's using resources. And it kind of washes out the stone, and it's hard to tell what anything is without walking right up on it. So what I like to do, put that away, hit Escape, go to Settings, go to Graphics, scroll down to Brightness, turn it all the way up to 50, 150%, and then what you can also do is take shadows and turn it off and then hit step changes look at how nice and bright it is remember how dark it was <laughs> this is it's like daylight in the cave and you can see the stone really well so that way you can come in and you can get your copper and mine and you don't have any worries now granted as the evening goes on it does get darker but it is really bright in the evening um, as well. So you can see even in, in the darkest of the night by doing this and you save resources. You don't have to worry about keeping the torch out the whole time or anything like that. And then of course you still have your stone that you can see the stone. So I think I'm going to go through here. I'm going to grab some of this copper. Can't do anything with it. I just want to get it out of the mine. God, I keep saying a mine. Get it out of the cave before season change because at season change you're going to all of these uh nodes that you're gathering they're going to reset and you'll be able to come in here each season and do the same thing now when you get full like i am right now come back to the entrance and just drop the items at the entrance like we can come just right out here open our inventory and we can drop those items there just like that. Now, since I've got some stone on me now, see I've got 33 stone and six logs still, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft up those stone pickaxes. Hit R, select all six, hit F, I'm gonna craft them all up, that way they're already crafted. If I don't use them all, fine, I can throw them in the resource storage for when I get somebody in the excavation shed. Now, the excavation shed, you can actually have your villager collect copper. However, what I have noticed, it is the least collectible item in the excavation shed. 
So like a level three villager collecting copper is like 3.3 a day or something, which is a very low amount. So in the excavation shed, I would almost suggest having your villager, your worker in the excavation shed, collecting either clay or limestone. Limestone, you can upgrade your stone walls with insulation. Uh, clay, you can once you get to the clay vials, you can make better healing potions and stuff. Uh, so I would have them collecting limestone for sure. And maybe a little bit of clay to start collecting that as you're leveling up. But that's just, that's me. It's just what I've noticed. Uh, gather, you know, having them gather copper and stuff in some of my other uh, game saves. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab another little bit of copper. And then I think what we're going to do is go to town and see about um, maybe getting a villager or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry this back to my village. Now, now that I'm done in the cave for now, I can go back to graphics. I can take this back down to 100 for brightness and turn my shadows back to my setting. Accept changes and everything is back to normal. So let me go drop this stuff off at the uh, resource storage and eat, and then we're going to head to town. Alrighty, there we go. Drop that stuff off. Let me, do I have any food on me? I might have a little bit. Oh yeah, I do right there. Uh, let me wash up first so I don't get poisoned because if you're dirty and eat, sometimes the you take a chance on getting poisoned. You get. There we go. Now I can eat a little bit. And not have to worry about it. And I'm going to go ahead and top off my water. Perfect. I forgot to drop off the pickaxe. I've still got these wooden crossbows and bolt on me. I'm keeping those only because my bow is starting to wear out. However, I sh I want to start looking at maybe getting the long bow. So we're also going to need to go and hunt. But let's head to town and see about getting some villagers. I do have two buildings uh, that I have available. So let's head over there. I don't remember if anybody had extraction or not, but we're going to find out. Did I talk to my gal? No, I didn't. Where is she at? Oh, she's probably out hunting. Well, oh, well, I'm not going to go hunt her up. I'll talk to her later this evening or something. But anyway, let me head to town and let's see what villagers we got available. Alrighty, here we are coming into uh, the little camp outside Sylvia here. I would kind of like to have um, excavation, maybe getting somebody in the excavation shed to gather limestone, and then also somebody in the woodshed so I can set them to make sure that there's firewood. Uh, let's see, two, two. Okay, so he's a three in excavation. He's farming. He's survival. And he's just mediocre. All right, this guy here. Oh, he's got threes in a lot of stuff. How about he excavation is the one. So let's grab that. We're going to talk to him. I'm creating a new settlement looking for... People, good people willing to join me. Count me in. Great. See you there. Alrighty. I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce his name, but let's go into the management screen and we can actually click on him. You can see he's got all the red statuses. So we know that that's the guy that needs to be placed somewhere. Double click on his name and it gives you his uh, management screen. We can assign him a house. Double click that. We can assign him one of the empty houses. That's where we want him right now. So I'll just click on the first one. Click accept. And then you can go down here and click on assign workplace. And then it brings up all the different workplaces you can assign him to. Um, and it tells you what skill level he is in those. So that way you know you're putting him in a good 
uh, a good workstation. So I'm going to put him in as a lumberjack. Double click that. Good. Now we're going to escape out of that. Whoops. I escaped too far. We're going to go back into the management tab. I want to click on the little house icon. Let's close that. I want to open extraction and I want to go to the woodshed that he's assigned to. And then I want to, you can see here the status. He has no assignments. I'm going to click on the little hammer with the circle above it. And I want to assign him what to do. Now, I'm going to have him making firewood. So we can actually, there's no resources in the resource storage. I know that. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to 10 for right now. And then we're going to bring this up to 10 as well. So he's bringing in, let's have him bring in at least three logs a day. So once there are resources in the resource storage for him, he will begin to make firewood as well. The only thing is, is I don't have any logs in there, so I can't see how much firewood he's going to be doing a day. But if we go into the management tab again, go down to the wood demand, we need 41 uh, wood value for the day. Each firewood gives you five wood value, and he can produce with each log four firewood. So one log makes four firewood. Four firewood is going to be a total of 20 wood value. Now we need just over double that. So basically he's going to need to collect roughly three logs and turn those three logs into firewood. And I think that's what we had him set at. Let's go in here. Let's go to the house. We'll go to the woodshed. Uh, yep, yeah, it's telling us we don't have resources because we don't have any resources there. Yes, he is collecting just over three logs a day. And then he'll turn those three logs into firewood. So that'll be good. I'm not worried about this no resources because as soon as he starts chopping logs, he'll be doing that. Now, because I just got him, he is not going to be chopping wood at all until he goes back and gets a tool or whatever. Now... What do we have left? I kind of wanted two people for excavation, but don't seem to age at all. Lucky bastards. I could get this guy here I can say and put him in for farming. I can't say a good word either. But it's like I don't really have any farming to do yet, and I'm not sure that I want anybody farming. Hmm. Okay. We may just have to wait until next season to get anybody else. Because I don't necessarily want to waste half a day running to, uh, what is that, Skalky? I, I don't want to do that. I can go down there next season and check. At least one day. How much time do we have left? Um, we're on day five, and what is this? We got six day seasons or seven day seasons? I can't remember what I set it at. Six day seasons. Okay. I don't think I'm going to pick up a quest. Do I have anything to sell? I don't know that I really have much to sell. I pretty much don't have anything to sell. But I think I want to buy a longbow. Because my other bows are going to break pretty soon. I'm going to go through the bow that I'm currently got equipped. And then I'm going to go through the two crossbows. And then I'll be done with all of those. Um, I think she is the... Yeah, this gal here. I want to get a longbow. Is it at? There it is. So it's 105 coins for a longbow. So we're just going to go ahead and just buy that. So we have it handy. So we'll have a brand new bow. We won't have to worry about some of this other stuff that's partially used. And I think I'm going to head back to the village and maybe see about taking out a Wysant. And that could be a really bad idea. But let me head back to, to the village real quick. I'll see you folks shortly. Alrighty, so we've got, we're back in, in my village here. And we've got a couple of Wysant down here some deer 
This is probably going to be a very bad idea. I can't even... I don't know if I'm hitting him in the head or not, but let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? I don't even know if I'm hitting him. That hit him. There we go. We got him down. What do we got left? Six arrows. All right, let's see if we can skin this guy without being seen. You stay over there, buddy. What do we get? 80 meat and 30 leather. Man, that's nice. Oh, wow. Look at all these arrows. Can I shoot all those? Probably. All right, let's get the rest of these up. Don't have very much left on that bow. All right, let's back off a little bit just so we don't trigger that guy. Uh-oh, I think we might have already done that. No? Okay. We started to, but he lost interest. All right, let's uh, let's re-equip those. Now, let's... You know what? Let's do this. I am going to... Let's equip this one. Put that in five. Oh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Because I can't go to five because there's no bolts. Dang it. I was, I was thinking I was going to quick swap. <laughs> that might be bad. Okay. Let's see if we can get his attention. Oh, we twisted. Okay. Oh, got his attention though. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. That hit him. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Um, quickly. <laughs> Actually, I think this pauses now. Let's go to five. Load that up. He's moving slow. That's good. Let's see if we can get another one in him. Keep him slowed. No, no. Oh, we got him. Good. Okay. Can we get the other one that's over there? That'd be really cool. Let's see if we can get his attention. Yep, got his attention. Let's just keep him loaded up here. Can't hardly see him. There's a bush or something right there. And keep slow moving. That's fine. Dropped him. Look at that. Nice. Good deal. All right, let's skin these guys up. We got some meat. We got some leather. How much should we get again? Look at that. 30 leather, 80 meat. Man, so much stuff. All right, let's see. Let's look for arrows and bolts. Is there anybody else down here? I guess I better keep an eye out for a fourth one. I wonder if we can get those deer, too. There's a wooden bolt, wooden bolt, wooden bolt. <laughs> Catch him. Where are you at? I'm out of stamina. Pick that up. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Well, it's way out here now. Come on. Come on, pick it up. Thank you. Jeez Louise. No stamina. Get your stamina back so I can see if there's any more. I don't see any more. All right. That's good. Man, I may not want to go back to that longbow. <laughs> oh, broke the knife. That's okay. 
Let's see if we can get these deer. Might as well, right? Here, let me just undershoot that. Oh, missed that one. Oh, he turned right when I pushed that button. Dang it. Oh, I'm heavy. That's that's why I'm not running. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's see. There we go. The crossbow shoots really nice and straight. A lot straighter than the bow, but man, I tell you what, I like the... It seems like the... Um, I don't have any... Do I have any sticks? I don't have any sticks or nothing on me. Let's get some sticks and we'll get this deer and then we'll take that stuff back. But the, the long bow and the bow and everything, they have an arch that you have to... An arc that you have to account for. Do I have a, any sticks? Oh my god, there's so many stones down here. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we're going to go back this way. I heard the wolf. Alright, let's uh, craft us up a knife so we can get this deer skinned up. Yeah, see, this wooden crossbow is just about toast. Like, one more shot and he's going to be done. So maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow, which is the last day for season change, maybe I'll come down here and I'll hunt these deer, get their meat and leather and everything. That'll be good to, to have. We can sell some of those bags. We can actually roast up some of the meat maybe and sell it. Uh, maybe go to town uh, tomorrow and get some onion, make some, uh, some meat and gravy meals or something. I think that'll be pretty good. But anyway, folks, if you're liking these episodes, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. Special thank you to my members. You should be able to see them on the screen. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.